share this channel on the internet. Alright, doing guys, and welcome back. Welcome back to part two. And if you saw part one, well, Mino Gida headed over to the West Coast for spring break. And we took out the boat, just me and her, and headed over to Fort Myers Beach to check out the spring breaker action. And what we found were mostly locals and families having a good time on the water. But we also found lots of wind and a lot of waves. And that made our stay a little uncomfortable. So we decided to pick up anchor and head somewhere else. And we landed to the nearby island of Sanibel, where we anchored up and decided to get down and explore. And we wanted to take a closer look to the lighthouse. And we're right where we left off. All right guys, so we hopped on shore. Check out all the shells. Pretty cool. Right here in the back side of Sanibel, baby. Check out all the shells here. Let's take a little walk around the island mine. Wow, this should be so beautiful here. And now it looks like literally hurricane came through here and destroyed everything. And look at that. We found, look. We found a lady. An Amazon lady living in the Sanibel Islands. Who is she? Oh my gosh, she must be a native. Who are you, ma'am? How did the hurricane didn't take you? You survived it here by yourself? He didn't like you. The hurricane didn't like you? Nope. What are you doing? Taking pictures? Taking pictures. Ready? Yeah. No, with this one, no. Uh, we're going to take a walk. Look at that fishing pier. Gone. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Wow. I remember uh, you came here to roll bike. There was a, used to be like a little bike trail here. It's not even anything here. Wow, it's pretty bad. Can you imagine? It was like 12 foot of water here. It was crazy. It was crazy, but I guess you got to adjust with Mother Nature and keep living. Because there ain't nothing else you can do. You can't beat Mother Nature. I don't care how hard you try. Mother Nature's stronger than anybody. So we're sightseeing uh, what's left of Sanibel. It looks pretty bad here. It used to be so pretty. Hopefully it goes back to normal in a few years. I mean, it's pretty bad. Yuli's a tour guide? Yeah, Yuli's our tour guide. Come on, Yuli. Show me where the thing's at. What is it, Yuli? What is he? You're like. No, it's in Finland. What is he? Come on. Come on. All right, let's keep, let's keep exploring Sanibel. But I noticed something. The hurricane took a lot of plants and greenery, but brung a lot of shells because I think now there's more seashells here than before. And as closer we walked towards the lighthouse, the more it started to smell bad until we noticed there was a lot of dead fish. I wonder why. Was it the hurricane or the red tide or something else? Well, whatever it was, it was sad to see because there was a few big fish dead. Anybody remember how this used to look? How pretty? Look at it now. It's really bad. Look at it. It's like a destruction site. 
the sandbar used to be right there now I'll shift it all the way to the north side it's crazy all right guys so there it is it used to be a beautiful place now it looks like a destruction site wow hopefully they put it back to normal i think they will it's just taking time but yep Yep, it's looking pretty bad. Look at Yola! 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 And while Gita stays exploring and picking shells, me? I'm gonna head back because a friend of mine named Stomach is getting hungry and it's time to feed him. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Boom! Nope, not yet. Almost there. And hey, what you eating, girl? What I'm you about eat? to eat the best tostone. Oh, she's eating tostone, right dog. Now. Tostone on a boat. Yeah. All right. I guess she can't wait for the no. for the sausages, right? Sausage. She can't wait for the sausages. She had to eat tostone. So I'm letting it heat up, and we were we were gonna try to go on the island, but. Uh, it's kind of like too much stuff to carry and right now I'm feeling kind of lazy. So We're gonna do it on the boat anyway, right? You're feeling lazy? You still trying to open up a totone? Look, she's biting. She's biting a totone. I'm hungry. She's biting a totone. Totone? You're supposed to be eating sausages, right? Not totones on the boat. I can't pass on these totones. Mmm, what love flavor totones. is that? Cilantro salsa. So you like that better than sausages? Mm-hmm. Oh no! Woo! Okay, we got a visitor. We got a fan. All right, so there's a dolphin right next to the boat. I'm trying to catch him, come up again. Where are you, buddy? Come on. There he is, look at the dolphin. He's hanging out. He wants to be featured on First Gold Trip. <laughs> there he goes, yeah, hey, look at the dolphin. He's been sitting there for like 30 minutes. I guess he's fishing. Pretty cool. So tuna might taste good, but you know what time is it? What time is it? <laughs> Boom! No, 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 no sausages today. It is chicken, chicken, no sausages. I guess it's true what you're saying. She don't want to eat sausage today on the boat. So we brought chicken. <laughs> what can you do, right? We can't beat them joint. So we're gonna have chicken, no sausages. And the day is turning out pretty good, even after that hurricane that caught us over there at uh, Paul Myers Beach. All right, check it out. We're gonna we're gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna bring out uh, panini bread, whatever it's no, called, she about, she about with the, uh, she with uh, chicken. Let me let me heat it up. Let me get my toaster going. Open it. Yeah, can you open it for me? Cause I got my hand occupied. Why do I have to do everything for you? I have to do literally everything. No, she not. She lying. Come on. Put that bread to toast. We're yeah, ready to go. Now we close it up and. Now we're gonna have a toasty bread. There we go. Hmm? Oh. There you go. Yeah. Can you put tomato? I don't know, put this in the Yeah. Awesome. Chick fil A. Aguacate no que? No. Yo. What do you got? Okay, so those people that saw part one, you notice that we set out 
to have two objectives for the day. One was to find some college brain breakers at Fort Myers Beach and the other one was to have lunch. And I think we completed our both goals for today. And look at this, we found some fans here on the west coast. Well actually they found us and they came by to say hi. So while we enjoy lunch, we're actually taking a look at a boat next to us that they're fishing by the pier and we're gonna see if they get lucky or not. Well, I guess by that reaction, she must have got a big bite. So we'll see what she brings up. And yep, she got lucky. She brought up a trophy snook. Nice size. Well, we finished our lunch and we got more energy. So we're going to keep on exploring. And for those people that had the luck to fish off the Sanibel Fishing Bridge, well, it was a nice place and a nice photo up, but now it's damaged and you cannot go on it. And look at Ogita. There she goes off again, wandering into the woods. And I wonder why. And for those people that thought something else, well, you thought wrong. Nope, she wants more pictures. And even though Santa Bo is not as pretty as it used to be, but it's still a nice place to come and enjoy the seashells and the water and to walk around and definitely take a lot of pictures like we did today and even video because you never know when you have the chance to go back and how the place is going to look like in the future Well, and today I think it turned out to be pretty interesting. We headed out to Fort Myers Beach and wanted up at Sanibel Island to have lunch and to take a few pictures and enjoy a nice walk on the beach. But now here comes the part that everyone hates and it is to say goodbye and go home. But I don't feel that bad because I know I'll be back on the water pretty soon. And you guys will be too because wherever I go, I'll take you guys along for the ride. And to answer a question that I got from the live stream this past Monday and the question was why did I split this video into two and I explained it on the live stream but I'm gonna explain it here on the video and the reason is why the average view time on the videos are about from six to eight minutes so if I make a 30 minute long video most people are not gonna stick around to watch the whole thing so if I do split it in half you'll get to enjoy the whole videos plus it gives me a break on editing because a 15 minute video may take me from three to five hours to edit depends how complicated and how much narration i do and that's why i split the videos into two and i hope you guys enjoy both of them and until next time i'll catch you guys out the water and until then keep having fun in the sun <laughs>